I'm going to be making chicken fajitas with like pickled jalapenos and like a lime kind of sour cream. So I've got my fajita shells. I have three chicken breasts. I have you. I use this uh, Mrs. Dash Salt Free Fiesta Lime Seasoning. Um, sour cream, a bell pepper. I just grabbed a yellow one. Red onion. I have two jalapenos to pickle because I like them. Lime and some just distilled white vinegar. I'm gonna start with the jalapenos first. So I'm gonna move you over here and show you how I chop them up and do this with the vinegar. First things first is I take a little bit of vinegar and just a bowl and I just simply put like half the bowl of the vinegar. And in the past I've always used sugar, but lately I've just been using a little pack of stevia. Put it in the vinegar, let it sit there. I'm gonna start chopping up these jalapenos. So I just simply chop it cut it in half. You don't, I do not want the seeds. So I go through and de-seed it. Another bowl, I'm taking the sour cream, not all of it. I just take two spoonfuls, let's say. So just a couple spoonfuls. And then I take a um can't think of what these things are called. But I just go through and you put some lime rinds in here. Then I'm going to cut the lime, squeeze half the lime in there. Mix that up, kind of make it so it's kind of messy or liquidy or really runny. I just got it on me. So it's going to be, keep splattering up, thinner than your typical sour cream. A little bit of salt and pepper. And you can put this in the fridge if you want, if you want, or you can just let it sit as it is while you're doing the next, next thing. thing up is the bell pepper and the onion, and I'm gonna chop these up pretty thin. I did forget to mention you guys, you need cheddar cheese too. So <laughs> grab that if you don't have it already. Chop up the red onion first. that for some reason it did not show it cut off that I was sauteing the peppers and onions and just put a dribble dribble of olive oil in a pan with peppers and onions I'm cooking them up over here I'm making MJ a little quesadilla so while those are sauteing I'm going to take my chicken ooh, that cup right chicken on a paper plate and or a regular plate whatever you choose and I'm going to slice it up you can use it on a cutting board if you'd like, whatever you choose. I just want this to be thin slices. So now that I cut the chicken up, I'm going to take the Fiesta lime and a little bit of ground cumin and sprinkle it on these. Now that the peppers and onions are done, I'm gonna put them onto a plate. And I'm gonna use this same pan Put another drizzle of olive oil. Onto the pan. Add the chicken. And start it cooking.
So while this is cooking, a couple different things. You could take the fajitas and put them on a baking sheet at like 400, put some cheddar cheese on it and melt it and then put the fajitas together. Or we like to kind of do it where we all just kind of put our own together. So I just put the fajita shells on a plate and layer it with damp paper towels and heat them up in the microwave for 30 seconds as we get ready to eat them. And then we all kind of assemble our own. So I'm gonna keep cooking the chicken, throw the peppers in a minute, and then I'll show you what it all looks like when it's done being put together. You're gonna cook the chicken until there is no more pink in it too. You just wanna keep moving it around, keep checking it, keep flipping it and moving it. So my chicken is done and I don't see any more pink. I'm gonna add all the peppers and onions in here. I'm gonna let that cook on medium for about another five minutes and then we'll start assembling. So for this part, I have a dry paper towel down. Then I'm going to put two shells, damp in a paper towel, shake it out, put it over these, do another layer. Stick in the microwave 30 seconds. Our peppers and onions are all done and ready to go. And then over here, we've got our cheese, our jalapenos, and our crema sauce that we're going to make our tacos with. And in five seconds, these will be ready to go. And we're gonna put them together and have a nice dinner. All right, I'm gonna set these over here and make one.